My impression of your industry is it's, it's, a, it's tough. You work long hours, dedication, attention to details. There's a, there's a real load of stuff that goes on that you have to be aware of. What makes you get up every single morning and want to do it again and again and again? I think the love for food, really. I think um, I'm very privileged to be in an industry that is so creative and progressive. Um, and I've always said, I say to any young chef that, that comes to work for me or, or asks for my advice is you, you have to love, you have to love food and you have to love cooking um, because it is a really hard job. It is really physical and mental, you know, it's long hours, long days. Um, and if you're not prepared to give everything, then it w you won't get the rewards you want. So I think, ultimately, just natural love for food gets me out of bed. And what, what took you, I guess at some <coughs> stage, you made a decision that, that, that being a good chef wasn't enough and you wanted to be the best chef that you could be. You know, you wanted to be great. You're a good chef, you've got a great reputation. Do you remember, was there a time when that happened, when you, when you were so inspired that you wanted to notch it up? Yeah, well, I think I'm, I'm in the biggest belief that the chefs that come before you are the greatest. Um, so I think that was my inspiration, really. You know, I think just like being here today with Tom Kitchen, for example, for me, you know, I happily say he's one of my you know, idols. You know, he's someone that came before me, you know, worked in fantastic kitchens in his career, has an amazing restaurant. Um, and then I was lucky enough in my career to work for some amazing chefs. You know, I worked at Noma with Rene, who's a lot of people know is the best restaurant in the world, um, to work with people like him and all the other guys I work for. Um, it's a huge inspiration. I think for me that was kind of probably when I was at Noma, I was 24, 23, 24, I kind of just said, you know, I want to, I want to walk my own path now. It was more, I always wanted to be a chef, I always wanted to have a restaurant, but I think when you work alongside such talent and people that are so ambitious, you know, it, it's infectious. Um, and I think that I had it in, my, in myself as well, personality-wise. I think I wanted to go on and, and do great things or, or try and do great things. And then obviously I opened the restaurant and things seem to have worked out for me, so that's good. To me it's a really inspiring story, you know, because school and college these days tends to be academically driven, doesn't it? And you're absolute testament to the fact that you need to find your niche, you need to find your spark. And it doesn't have to be academic, but you can achieve and, blind me, have you achieved? Yeah, I, th I think society today, you know, they put a lot of pressure on, on children at a young age in terms of the education and the syllabus uh, as we see it. And I think, you know, I, I think my upbringing and definitely my parents were, you know, a big push towards if you, you know, ultimately not finding success within a classroom doesn't mean you can't find success within life. Um, but I always say that I'm very lucky I found um, what I was, I, I believe, destined to do, and that was to cook. Um, but then post that, you know, it's a serious amount of hard work and determination and ambition and, you know, not wanting to give up and, and pushing yourself as an individual. Um, you know, I think there's a balance when you, when you look at education over... I guess a craft. I think that what I love about food and cooking is the craftsman side of things, and you know, all the all the kind of craft skills that you have through life, whether it be you know a carpenter or a welder or a builder. You know these kind of trades now, and I kind of see a chef in a similar ilk. They kind of looked past, but like I said, I think I'm very lucky. I'm in a kind of a a time frame now where food is really, really, really exciting, and to be at the forefront ish of that and be progressive is really exciting and you are you know it's legacy at this stage you're a young guy you've you've you know you've really achieved so far you've got michelin star you've got your own restaurant have you had a thought you know you're talking about these that young children today in education have you had a thought about what 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 you might want people to be talking about when they talk about tom sales in the future yeah i think i i always wanted to be respected by my peers i think but you know if, more than anything, you know, I want to be respected as a chef and as a cook and what I've achieved, I guess, on the plate. I think that was always something that I wanted to be really proud of. But I think also food is changing and the industry is changing. And I think that you have to, you have to evolve and, and move forward with that. You know, there's lots of things I'd like to do, you know, I want to go on and get more Michelin stars. 
you know, I want to do things like write, write my book. You know, I want to open other restaurants. Um, you know, there's lots of things I want to do. I think, but I think more than anything, I think when people one day look back, I'd like them to just think that, you know, they could look at me and be like, you know, he could cook. I think that's, you know, for me, that's what I want more than anything really is people just to, to really respect me and, and what I do. You know, I dedicated my whole life to my craft. So I want people to respect that above anything else, really. And also me as a person, I think, you know, chefs, especially now more than ever, can be looked upon as, you know, kind of tricky customers, rock and roll guys, you know, introverts, type A's. And I guess visually I kind of fit that, you know, that, you know, everyone looks at me as this young guy with tattoos and, you know, the way the press say it sometimes, it's like, they're almost trying to set you up for something that you're not. So I think, no, to be respected as a person and respected as a cook more than anything. Tom, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.